What the heck is up you guys? It's your boy Ace aka Animated Heroes here back with another action figure review. Today we're going to be taking a look at none other than the third figure in the One Piece line. It is none other than the chef of the Straw Hat Pirates, Sanji. This is one I have been waiting on despite the disappointment we got with Zoro and Luffy. This is one I really don't think that they have any excuses to mess up on. So let's go ahead and dive right into the sexy packaging so we can bust the figure open. Now the box is cool, it's nothing special as you guys can see. You do have this kind of map-ish look along the sides right here where it's white. You got the window where you can see the figure, it says Sanji right there, one piece Sanji. Images all along the side, um, nothing on the top right there. There's one on the bottom and then of course on the back. You got some poses you can get the figure into as well as a bunch of stuff I can't read because I imported this and actually I just lied because a lot of this is in English. I got this from Amazon Japan so um, I don't know if this is like a early uh, domestic release or domestic release package. I'm not sure but that doesn't really matter. Anyway, let's take a look at the figure. Now straight out of the package, here we have our boy Sanji, and he is looking extremely debonair, suave, and I am loving it. At first, I was one of those people that said I really wanted him in the time skip costume, where he's wearing the black, and I think it's the yellow tie. I just like that a little bit better, but now that I have this in hand, it's not that bad. I actually like this more than I thought I was going to, and... In my opinion, I think it just goes back to how the colors look in the photos. And I know that's weird to say. If you've seen any of my action figure discussion videos where I talk about the One Piece line, I've said multiple times, I think that the background really takes away from how good the figures can look. Like the Dragon Ball, they have the black background. The uh, Bleach figures have the black background. JJK, they kind of have some colors mixed in there. All of them really make the colors on the figure pop. And this guy just looked extremely dry. Like it just it didn't look appealing to me. But again, in hand, he looks really good, man. I'm loving the proportions on this guy, loving the sculpt work, loving the detail. It's really looking like a miniature variable action heroes, which that line is superb. I don't know if it's still going on, but it's a very good one piece line. Sadly, it's just uh, too big. <laughs> if they were the size of S HF, then of course I'd be sticking to those. But anyway, not to ramble too much. We know what we're getting into when it comes to these figures. I'm just hoping that Sanji does not turn out like Zoro and Luffy. And we're about to find out. Let's take a closer look at those details. Now I noticed at the beginning of this video, I did have my temperature turned up a bit on my ring light. So if you see a bit of a tannish color, then I'm sorry about that. But I did get it fixed. Now moving on to the figure. This Sanji is very aesthetically pleasing, man. It is a beauty to look at. I am really loving this head sculpt, as you guys can see. They sculpted the hair very nicely. We've got this little bang right here sticking out. Then a little bit of curvature at the back of the hair where it touches the neck, and I think that's going to help with that articulation. The face sculpt, it's Sanji. Like, what else can you say about it? It's literally him right out of the anime uh this blonde hair looks very nice i love the little bit of shading they added to it the tie is completely white and i think that's kind of what makes the figure pop just because the rest of the colors on this guy are completely dark other than the hair we've got the full body marine uh, marine maroon suit i wish they would have added some black shading to it but from the looks of it there's none at all and honestly i feel like that would have made the figure pop a little bit more but the sculpted wrinkles and detail kind of make it look like it has a little shading here and there but from what i've seen it doesn't have any i love how they did the diaphragm joint and then they just made this piece right here a soft plastic you can see the belt under there painted very nicely the legs are long and lanky as they should be all the way down to the shoes this guy looks really good now i do want to point out one thing if you look at the feet, it kind of looks like the shoes were put on weird. Like it looks like this foot should be on this side and this foot should be on this side just based on the sculpting, I guess. I don't know. Or maybe they did put them on the wrong side, but I don't think so because you see a bit of a curvature in there to show that 
this is correct i don't know man maybe it's just me but looking at the shoes on this guy it really does look like they should be swapped now i'm not about to take this figure apart even though it probably is easy I'm not sure if any of you guys figures like this but i don't know it just maybe it's just me it could just be my eyes but overall man just a very beautiful looking figure it literally looks like a miniature variable action heroes man it does i i I know I said that, but it it does. It looks really damn good. And honestly, I think I like this more than Luffy and Zoro already. Now, granted, we haven't touched the articulation. We'll see how it goes with this figure. I don't think there's any way they could have done this wrong, but we'll see. Now, height-wise, he does feel as tall as he is supposed to be. As you can see to the top of his head, He's literally right at about six and a half inches, so definitely taller than the average SH Fig Yards. Of course, we will be showing him with some other figures later once we get to the size comparison so we can see how he fits in scale with them. Articulation-wise, he looks up about that much, which isn't too bad. I wish he could go a little bit further, but it's fine. It's to be expected. As you can see, the hair is touching the back of the collar, so you can't really ask for more. He looks down very, very well, so that's good. His head does get all kinds of tilt and movement, so no hindrance there whatsoever. When it comes to the arms, this is what I was worried about. Right here, you can see that shoulder sculpt and this bicep swivel or bicep joint right here. These are going to clash, and that right there is what's going to hold you from getting those arms to go up and out fluidly. You're going to have to rotate them around like that. That I don't like, man. I really wish they would have just sculpted this a bit more flat and made it to where you could just... Oh, 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 that's a bit different. That is unexpected, but okay. That's a weird engineering right there. But as you can see, you can actually get the butterfly joint to protrude outward. That's not going to help with moving the arm out any more than that. And then it does kind of look weird. So it's almost useless. Honestly, I would just tuck it back in there and do some rotating around and do like that. But still, you're not going to get much range, man. This this butterfly joint was done so bad. How, how did they do that? Man, that is awful. That is, I mean, you can make it work. You can get him in the poses you want to with his arms, but uh, it's just, it, it's bad the way that it was designed. That is not good at all. It's not popping off like Zoro, but uh, you guys see what's going on. Anyway, he does have a bicep swivel, a uh, single jointed elbow with a uh, single jointed range, actually. You don't get to bring it in more than that, which kind of sucks, but if you rotate it around, you can get his arms to move behind the head and everything, but you got some major gapping and joints showing in there. It's looking a bit Revel Tech ish Man, this One Piece line, it, so close yet so far away. Anyway, the uh, hands are on a... Um, not a ball peg it's the same joint that they use for luffy and zoro it works well enough you're not going to get too much range just because of the cuffs at the sleeve there so that's about it when it comes to the diaphragm joint moves around but that does pop off that could have been my fault i'm going to blame that on me uh yeah see he does move around just fine so that's good uh, but if you move it too much it is going to pop off he leans forward about that much leans back you got to be careful when you do it i guess uh, about that much before you get some gapping in there so not bad at all he does turn at the waist and he does i think lean at the waist but then oh man a lot of popping off here a lot a lot of popping off here not feeling that not feeling that at all tamashi what's what's going on here what is going on hold on yeah he leans forward about that much so that's not bad it does work okay ish just know that you kind of got to push down on it when you're leaning him forward because he's gonna come apart anyway kicks forward about that much really dang good so glad they at least got that right because that needed to be done correctly doesn't go back at all uh he does the splits very freaking well so that's good also he does have a uh thigh swivel as you can see it kind of protrudes outward just a little bit that doesn't bother me but i know some people don't like it when it comes to the knees single jointed uh with slightly double jointed range i'm gonna go ahead and call that double jointed it works well enough foot goes down not much because of the pants 
up about that much. He does get really good ankle rocker, and then he does have toe hinge. Articulation-wise, he's decent. He's not great. He's still suffering from issues just like Zoro, just like Luffy. I still think that he's better, but, uh, man, the coming apart at the torso and then the arms, man. I know Sanji doesn't punch, but that is not it. They got to do better. Now, when it comes to the accessories, he comes with quite a few, but there are some decisions that are questionable, to say the least. First off, he comes with a pair of fist hands and a neutral head sculpt right out of the packaging. Then he comes with three pair of right hands and two-ish pair of left hands. You'll see in a second. First off, he comes with a pair of hands for when he's palming the ground, getting ready to do one of his kicks, where he kind of stands on his hands. I don't know what it's called, but even if I did, I wouldn't be able to pronounce it. He comes with another hand where he has the cigarette in his hand. That's for the right. And then he comes with a right hand where it's kind of like he's holding something or he's supposed to be holding something, but he doesn't come with anything to hold, which is weird. But then he also comes with a left hand, which is for when he's supposed to have his hand in his pocket, but it's just one. Like, I don't understand why they didn't give him two for having both hands in his pocket like i get it the pose is supposed to be i'll show you guys the box where he's standing like this where he has the cigarette in one hand and the other hand in his pocket but why not give him the option to put both hands in his pockets either way i don't know weird decision but it is what it is now he comes with one smiling face with the cigarette in his mouth one kind of angry face with the cigarette in his mouth he comes with this expression i don't know when this happened but this is probably my favorite for sure. And then he comes with, of course, the Sanji expression, which is him anytime he sees Nami or Robin or Boa Hancock or literally any woman that he deems to be beautiful. And then he comes with probably the coolest accessories, these two flaming feet here that are actually articulated a bit. I love what they did with these. Uh, these look very, very good. They're definitely the centerpiece of this figure when it comes to the... Uh, accessory so I dig this quite a bit and then last but not least he comes with a build a figure piece for Luffy which is him drooling but again we don't have any kind of food I feel like this would have been perfect to come with like a dinner plate or something but mm, I don't know whatever now moving on to size comparisons here are the first three of the straw hat pirates all together and being honest these figures look really dang good together and honestly I think they scale well also it sucks that these figures have so many problems, man, because if these were at least 8 out of 10 figures, I would have so much fun with these. But man, again, they do look really, really good together. Next up, here he is standing next to a couple of other SH Figure Arts. We have an SH Figure Arts Dragon Ball Super CGI Goku, the SH Figure Arts Naruto Shibuden Naruto Revive Line Naruto, and the SH Figure Arts Jujutsu Kaisen Greatness Yuji Itadori. Here he is standing next to some Figmas. We have the Figma Boku no Hero Academia or My Hero Academia Deku, the Figma Jujutsu Kaisen Greatness Honored One Satoru Gojo, and the Figma Kimetsu no Yaiba or Demon Slayer Tanjiro Kamado. Last but not least for some extras, here he is standing next to a Mafex or Metacom toy re-release Spider-Man. This has the PS4 slash PS5 head sculpt. I'm sure you guys know why I put him in the video. We also have the Marvel Legends 3-pack Daredevil, which I'm sure you guys know why this one's in here too if you follow me on Insta. And then last but not least, we have a Jax Pacific Supersonic. When it comes to my final thoughts for this figure, I'm going to be completely honest, man. This is another one that just... It isn't it, man. It isn't it. There are some decisions made with this figure that are just like, come on, man. Like, why is this happening? Another one that I discovered while I was posing this guy around is that at the thighs right here, where the thigh swivel is supposed to be, it just pops off. Anytime I'm posing this guy around, it pops off. It's about as bad as Luffy was. The torso stayed the same even as I was pushing down on it when trying to articulate him around. It pops off. I don't know what it is, but the pieces just don't want to stay together. And that's an issue all throughout the One Piece line. Luffy has it. 
Zoro has it, and now here we are with Sanji. And I don't know what's going on, man. Tamashii Nations is really backtracking with the One Piece line, and that sucks because all their other lines are doing so well, man. And I really want to enjoy these figures, but these mistakes are just outrageous. And that doesn't even include the arms. Now, I know some people might say, oh, well, it's just the arms. Sanji doesn't punch. He doesn't fight. He doesn't really move his arms very much. And you're right. But why are we making mistakes on figures that we have already done a great job on in the past? What are you talking about, Ace? I'll show you. Here is another suited figure right here. It's Lloyd Forger from the uh, Spy Family line. Look at the arms. Look at the arms. They move just fine. So why on Sanji are we not able to do this? Why on Sanji are we not able to articulate his arms the same way? These are both suited figures. Even though the torso didn't have to be the same, the arms could have been engineered pretty much the same because as you can see, they do still cut into the suit. So I, I don't understand why Sanji's arms are even limited. It just doesn't make sense. And it's the same with Zoro. Like, these figures have restrictions that they shouldn't have or they have parts falling off that shouldn't be and I just I don't get it man like it's extremely frustrating because I love One Piece. One Piece is the anime that really brought me out of a dark space and so when we heard that we were going to be getting figures for these I was ecstatic man and I really want to enjoy this. I'm still going out of my way to pre-order all of these and this is one I just I thought this one was going to be good. I was like there's no no way they're going to make any mistakes on this one but here we are again and so now i'm not excited for law at all i'm definitely not excited for kaido that one i feel like is going to be a mess if they keep doing what they're doing yamato my brain is telling me there's no way they can mess up on that one but i don't have high expectations and it's possible that Gear 5 is just going to be a tragedy. So I don't know, man. I, I really don't know what's up with the One Piece line. They got to get it together, man. Because at some point, people are going to start dropping these. Like in my mind right now, I'm already contemplating just selling all of these and waiting it out to see what they're going to do, how far the line's going to go, and hope that in the future, these figures get better. Because three misses is just not it. Like... It, it, baseball three strikes you're out bro and oh my god i don't know man it, it's really frustrating i'm gonna be honest guys this figure is not it it sucks that none of the three one piece figures that have released this year are even going to be in my top 10 all three of these are probably going to be in my top 10 or top five most disappointing figures of the year and that's just sad for it. one piece figures the older figures were better than these and oh my gosh at this point, I'm just rambling. I'm sorry. I'm really frustrated, man. I really wanted this line to be great. And honestly, the more I say it, I think Luffy is probably the best of the three. Again, that's not saying much. But overall, that's my review. I'm pretty sure you guys didn't enjoy it, so I'm not even going to say that. Subscribe to my channel for uh, more content. Um, hit the like button. I would greatly appreciate it uh, if you have it in you to do so. Uh, hit the bell icon to be notified whenever I upload new content. And yeah, follow me on everything you see listed in the description below. Have a great rest of your day, guys. If you're not that big into One Piece, don't pick this up. Bye.